So, Amy Keating Rogers, focus on Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie, an episode pertaining to the overarching plot of the season, equal focus on a side character, and a lesson about friendship. Hmm, the last time this exact set of circumstances was met, the episode turned out fucking terrible. Even though the fandom universally hails it as the best thing since sliced bread, but I'm not really on good terms with what the fandom tends to think of things. So how did this episode turn out? Fucking awesome! I can hardly think of anything this episode did wrong, except for the usual cocktail of things that come along whenever an episode reminds me that MLP is now a show with season-long arcs that I don't recall anyone ever asking for. But unlike the key episodes, which might as well have just been any random episode, that sucked. These map quest episodes seem pretty irrevocably tied to the fucking castle, so shit. But as long as the episodes turn out good, admitting that Twilight's Kingdom was canon is a small price to pay, right? And on that note, let's point out the mandatory continuity fuckups. I'll need some rope, a grappling hook, and a guide to take me down to the abysmal abyss. You sure we can't just fly down? Seems to me like these two scenes should have happened the other way around. One of my biggest fears in this series as a whole is how exactly they would handle Gilda. Because saying something like, Gilda's my best friend for my days at Junior Speedster Flight Camp. And then ending that episode on a pretty painful falling out, the question becomes how will this be handled? Well, the answer seems to be to not speak to her for a year. Eight years? Uh, an indeterminate amount of time while holding on to a petty grudge. Element of loyalty! So the best thing that this episode did was putting Gilda in perspective. Not that I had any problem understanding her way back in Griffin the Brush Off. She was pretty clearly suffering from culture shock. All these lame ponies are driving me buggy. I gotta bail. And this episode played into that and elaborated on it so well that you might think that this show has just enough continuity to make all the times that they pretty clearly disregard it seem really fucking annoying. Gilda grew up in Griffinstone around all these asshole griffins, and then she met these asshole ponies, and for all we know, Rainbow Dash is the only, uh, um, being in Equestria that was nice to her. I did have a friend once. So her general mistrust of everyone was built up in her for her entire life, and being in Ponyville where only the minority of beings are jackasses was so different that she didn't know how to process it, which stressed her out enough for these pranks to make her snap. And this outburst was probably extremely embarrassing for her because she immediately tries to backslide on it and was visibly saddened by hurting Rainbow Dash's feelings, but was too stubborn to apologize. And I'm glad this episode confirmed that everyone who doesn't like Gilda is crazy. 